Happy Halloween from WHAS Levin's Vault Team. Tonight we're taking a look back into Louisville's spooky history from the haunted houses, both real and fake, to a beloved tradition today that has decades old roots right here in Kentuckiana. We scared? Just a little. Old Louisville today is known for its Victorian style mansions, but the rich history comes from a very spooky past. This haunted house on 6 in St. Catherine was put on in 1977. It was a charity event by the Louisville JCs and featured a high school band as entertainment. The music played as the Prince of Darkness was delivered. Then at dusk he arrives, Dracula. The 175-year-old house offered serious scares. In fact, paramedics stayed on the spot. The house averages four fainting spells a night. Three years later, they had to move to a new location in Butchertown because they bugged too many neighbors, literally. And now, of course, one of our better scenes, we enter into the Roach Hotel. We have 3,000 live roaches. You know, this is disgusting, Stan. Yeah, isn't it great? But the harrowing holiday hasn't always been just fun and games. WHAS 11 reporter Ned McGrath went to a real haunted house in 1980. The Smith family moved out of this Trimble County farmhouse 18 months ago after everything started happening. Strange fires which would not burn, loud screams in the middle of the night, bedroom furniture moving from one side of the room to the other. Could it happen again? Maybe. We decided to stay here overnight to find out. Ned investigated a room in the house that hadn't been opened for 30 years. The Smith family believed it was haunted by their grandmother, who refused to leave after her death. You hear that? What was that? It was nothing, I think. Ned left the house the next day, disappointed on his lack of interaction with the spooky spirits. I really wanted to meet the old lady. I'm sure she would have made us feel right at home. Now to a Louisville Halloween tradition known for not being frightful, but delightful. Boo at the Zoo is a Louisville favorite. I think I like the witch. I like Darth Vader. It feels weird to come to the zoo to come to Halloween, but I like it. Every year, the Louisville Zoo is transformed into a living storybook, complete with the year's favorite characters. As for the favorite costumes, WHAS 11 reporters turned to a local designer in 1977 to talk shop. The top movies of the season usually indicate the costumes the country will be wearing. They point to the magic of the Halloween season, the opportunity to play pretend, even as an adult. Well, it's strange to watch people come in and they're quiet and shy and then they put on a costume and they start leaping around the room. <laughs> and, so, and that's magic even our news team couldn't pass up on. When people come in to look for costumes, they want to be either very ugly or very pretty. And then there are those who just can't decide. Debbie Denishow, Action 11. And we wish you a very safe and happy Halloween. Remember every Sunday night we're digging into the WHAS 11 video archives to feature an interesting piece of Kentuckiana's history. You can see previous vault segments right now at WHAS11.com.